my precious little dragons. Thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so being at home more, I'm trying to think of like fun creative ideas to do while I'm also trying to do some reading and create some more book looks, but those take a little bit more time so I was trying to think of some good fun little challenge videos to do that would kind of just fill some space so you guys have more videos to binge watch if you are also stuck at home. <laughs> so I came up with an idea to let my books choose my makeup. My notepad. Does this pencil work? Aha! It does. So I'm going to blindfolded choose some books and then I'm going to turn to a random section and then the first color I see is going to be the color I have to work in for that specific category. So for my eyes, obviously this is the most fun I'll pretty much get to have. So I'm going to, I'm either going to do two or three colors and then I'm going to also have something on the cheeks. So if it's not something that I have that will be easy to work into the cheeks, I may just end up doing like some little artwork on my cheek or something so that I can work in whatever color it is. But if I do happen to have some type of powder or glitter or something that I can work into the look, that's that's the whole point of the challenge is to be creative and have fun. And then my lips. I have most colors for lipsticks, so I should be able to make it work at least a little bit. If I don't have the specific color that's mentioned, I will do my best to either get as close as I can to it, or if I truly don't think it will work, I will go to the next color. I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do because I'm not going to like, I, I don't have like FX makeup really, so I can't like turn my whole face blue. Well, I could, but it would take a lot of eyeshadow <laughs> or just like acrylic paint or something, but that's not the best for your skin. I think I'm just going to stick with eyes, cheeks, and lips and see what happens. So it looks like I'm going to need to pull five books. So I don't really have like a technical blindfold, but I have my headband that I wear for choosing makeup. So I'm going to stand up first so I'm not falling over myself trying to get out of my chair. And I'm going to pick five random books and I'll try to pull from like different sections of my bookshelf. I haven't decided if I'm going to pull from my kids books over there. I may not because that, that bookshelf's less stable so pulling blindfolded from that bookshelf has me worried a little bit. So I think I'm just going to pull from my main bookshelf and we will see what happens. Alright so here we go. I have my blindfold on. I really cannot see. So I'm just going to... I think I have four sections so maybe I could pull like one from each section and then do like a double or something. Okay, so the downside is that I kind of know, like my books are alphabetized by author's last name, so I kind of know where stuff is. So I'm just gonna kind of try and be more random with it. This one feels, this one feels okay. It feels thick. I haven't decided where I'm gonna put stuff. Crap. I'll like pull my chair out and I can just pull. Okay, so I can pull from, okay, I guess we're going with that one. Chill. My hands are grabbing before I have any say. Okay. Going down, going down. Oh my gosh. Let's go for a thinner. That's all that one seems kind of thin. Ta-da! Maybe I should show the books. You guys will know what I'm pulling before I do. So there's this one, then there's this one. I hope you guys can see this. I have no idea if anyone can see this. Oh crap, now I have it out of order though. I think I grabbed that one first, and then, okay, and then that one, and then this one. Okay, I have to keep them in order so I know what I'm doing for what. There's no cheating on this. Let's go with, you guys probably can't even see me down here. Let's do it, let's do another paperback. That sounds like a good idea. Ooh, this one's a little one. <laughs> I don't even know what section I'm in. Hold on, do I have any paper books? Oh, that's a bigger one. That must be a script, because it has things in it, like the little sticky notes. Okay, I could do that one. And then, let's see, maybe I'll pull from the shelf over here for my fifth one. See, the problem is I definitely know what these are. Okay, and those are all Harry Potter books. And then this one, well, I don't really want to pull from my Shakespeare books. <laughs> that one's too well organized. Okay, okay, so what am I actually, I kind of, see, I, no, I know what those books are, so I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Here, oh, I think I know what that book is. Oh wait, I forgot to show you. Haha, uh, this book. Let's see what my books are. Oh, oh wow, okay, okay. Huh. Let's see what I got. Okay, for my eyes, I am going to be pulling from Serafina by Rachel Hartman. Or for my first color on my eyes. I'm just going to kind of open. So, okay, I found, I found a color. The color is black. So, it's on page 86. 
and he met my gaze then. The keenness of his black eyes frightened me, but there was no malice there. I gathered my courage and said, whatever you did, please stop. The first color I have to work in to my eye look is black. The next book is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Okay, so we are on page 198. So I gotta read and see if there's a color mentioned. And if it's the same color, I'm just gonna skip it till I see another one. Find a color eventually. We now see a wild Callista regretting her decisions. Gray. And it's not a color, it's technically the people. But if I don't find one in the next few pages, I may just use, I may use gray from page 208. In one last desperate attempt, Callista attempts to find a color that is not a person. Okay, okay. So this says the ivory, the gold, and the pearls. So I don't think... I don't think I can really get ivory because I don't know that I have any white eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go with gold because it's in the it's in the same sentence, so it counts. And so the sentence was at last the affair was decided. The ivory, the gold, and the pearls all received their appointment, and the gentleman having named the last day on which his existence could be continued without the possession of the toothpick case, drew on his gloves with leisurely care, and bestowing another glance on the Miss Dashwoods, but such a one as seemed rather to demand and express admiration, walked off with an happy air of real conceit and affected indifference. So I, number three, is going to come from The Giver by Lois Lowry. Oh, this is, this is large print. I didn't realize it was large print. Alrighty. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to let you in on a secret that the joys of editing have <laughs> cut out for all of you guys. Uh, this took me like 15 minutes of reading to find a color, so you guys get to see me find this within, you know, like 10 seconds. It was more like 15 minutes and it was rather torturous, so ouch. I will find a color somewhere in this book. Three minutes later. Red! I found red! Oh my gosh. I found a color. <laughs> Finally. Okay, it came from page 194. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting look. Fiona is already being trained in the fine art of release, the giver told him. She's very efficient at her work, your red-haired friend. Feelings are not part of the life she's learned. I found a color. It only took like four chapters. Okay, cheeks. We have Baron and Luthien by J.R.R. Tolkien. Go to the beginning. I haven't really done much. A significantly shorter amount of time later. Okay. White is my color. Was it? I wasn't sure about white on the cheeks, and so I kept reading, and then there was white two more times, so I cannot escape the white. Does that just mean I leave my cheeks unadorned? <laughs> about as white as they get. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Oh, I have like white highlighters. So I'll just maybe do like a really strong white highlighter. It's gonna be a weird look. It's gonna be a really weird look. Okay, so so here is our little section that I got our color from. Now the place that they loved the most was a shady spot, and elms grew there, and beech too, but these were not very tall, and some chestnut trees there were with white flowers, but the ground was moist, and a great misty growth of hemlocks rose beneath the trees. Last one, lips, and we have Darth Plagueis. Pla Plagueis? Plagueis. Stark Plagueis. I should ask my brother what that is. He's probably gonna correct me. By James Lucino. It's from Star Wars Legends. Uh, go towards the end. Not a terribly long time later. Sandy. Maybe? I, can't, I mean, that's, that's a color-ish. Sandy haired, so it's, descri it's describing the color. So, okay, okay, we'll, we'll go with that one. We'll go with that one. Alright. His thoughts rewound at frantic speed to the landing platform on which he and Valorum had welcomed Amidala and her group. Actually, not Amidala, but one of her lookalikes. But the sandy-haired boy, this Anakin, swathed in filthy clothing, had been there, along with a Gungan and the two Jedi. Anakin had spent the night in a tiny room in his apartment suite. So, those are my colors, so let's go over them real quick. So, on my eyes, I have to have black, gold, and red. 
On my cheeks, I have to have white, and then my lips are to be sandy. One last thing I'm going to do, I am going to pull one last book, and I'm going to find the first adjective, which should be a lot easier than finding the colors. And so I'm going to use that to find the direction I should go in for my makeup look. So for instance, if it says playful, I'll know I'll go in like kind of a big, bold, maybe more adventurous direction, whereas if it says elegant, it'll be more classic and everything. And for this one, I'm not going to bother with my... I'm just going to... One sec. Okay. Dragon Light by Danita K. Paul. Alright. Okay, so I looked over a couple pages. So... They mentioned the word precision a few times, so I think that's the adjective I'm going to go with. So the first place I saw it was, the march provides exercise of the mind and body, the brisk pace improves circulation and the function of lungs, the precision drill requires concentration and sharpens the mind, and then like I said, it's used a few other times throughout the next like age and a half of the chapter. So we're going to go with a very like precise kind of, I think intense bold look is what we're doing. So we shall see what that turns out looking like. All right, so I am going to brainstorm for a bit and then I'll come back once I kind of have all my makeup gathered and ready to go. See you in a movie second. All right, friends, I am back. I have brainstormed a little bit and I have come up with a look that I feel kind of defines the precision and boldness that I need in this look. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and get started. There will be hopefully a music sort of montage or maybe I'll voice over something. I don't know. That's for editing Callista to figure out. I just need to worry about... I'm going to do a freaking cut crease because what requires more precision than a cut crease and like a faded wing eyeliner? I, I don't know. This, this could turn out terrible. It could turn out amazing. I don't know. So we shall see. I have my coffee to keep me sane. Let's go, I guess. Woo!
final look. So I have black, gold, and red on my eyes. I used white highlighter and gloss and silvery stuff for my cheeks. And I have sandy lips. I used, as you saw, a couple different lipsticks and lip glosses to try and achieve this sandy look. It's not quite as yellow as I would have hoped, but I didn't have anything quite warm enough. So this is as close as as we get. It's it's like wet sand as the sand is transitioning from sand to soil. That that's what we're going with. That's what we're going with. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed my books choosing my makeup. That was actually pretty fun, so I might do it again sometime because obviously it's probably gonna create a completely different look every single time. So if you liked this challenge, let me know. Feel free to do it. I'd love to see what books you guys come up with. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Please stay healthy and safe. I look forward to seeing you guys soon with whatever my next video is. And have a good day. Love you guys. Bye.